My grandmother was ill in bed when the Nazis came to her hometown of Stashov. A German soldier shot her dead in her bed. Madam Deputy Speaker, my grandmother did not die to provide cover for Israeli soldiers murdering Palestinian grandmothers in Gaza. The present Israeli government ruthlessly and cynically exploit the continuing guilt among Gentiles over the slaughter of Jews in the Holocaust as justification for their murder of Palestinians. The implication is that Jewish lives are precious, but the lives of Palestinians do not count. I want, I want to just call your attention to something about the fog of war. So this was done by a member of parliament after World War I. The psychological factor in war is just as important as the military factor. The morale of civilians as well as of soldiers must be kept up to the mark. The war offices, admiralities, and air ministries look after the military side. Departments have to be created to see the psychological side. People must never be allowed to become despondent. So victories must be exaggerated and defeats, if not concealed, at any rate minimized. And the stimulus of indignation, horror, and hatred must be assiduously and continuously pumped in to the public mind by means of propaganda. A sort of collective hysteria spreads and rises until finally it gets the better of sober people and reliable newspapers everywhere. Facts must be distorted, relevant circumstances concealed, and a picture presented by which its crude coloring will persuade the ignorant people that their government is blameless, their cause is righteous, and that the indisputable wickedness of the enemy has been proved beyond question. A moment's reflection would tell any reasonable person that such obvious bias cannot possibly represent the truth. Do you remember the Kuwaiti ambassador's daughter, Naila? Some of you probably aren't even old enough to remember that, but I remember it. The evil Iraqis went in and ripped babies from the incubators. And it turned out she was living in Washington, DC. She'd been coached by a PR team to relay that law. But the lie had already been done. The, the Iraqis had already been demonized. So 40 babies got their heads cut off, even though the IDF said we can't confirm that. But this, the, it went all over, and everybody was angry. Do you condemn the... Who? I, I was asked by, by Jewish friends of mine, and they are friends that I actually care about, and I feel bad for them right now. But I was asked to, to condemn the killing of babies, and to be honest with you, I felt insulted that I would be asked to condemn something that I would never condone. Who would condone that? The killing of babies. But Palestinian babies have as much worth as Israeli babies, and you cannot say that dropping bombs on people is somehow different. It's just sanitized. It's much easier to do to push a button to kill people than to actually have to stab them. It's just a lot easier to do. But the demonization is just, it's just beyond belief. These are human beings. Did they vote for this? Did they vote for these people to come in and do what they did? Did they vote and give them 24 hours to get out How? and then stop their electricity, stop their water? Whoever kills a soul without any just right or in sowing corruption in the earth, it's as if they've killed the whole of humanity. The whole of humanity. One soul. That's what the, the Prophet ﷺ said, for the Kaaba to be destroyed brick by brick is less with God than killing one believer. And think about what would happen if somebody destroyed the Kaaba. What Muslims, what would they do? But they're stoned.